Okay, happy Wednesday. Uh, we're going to do a 75 minute yoga class. We're gonna start with three rounds of sun salutations to warm up our body. And then we will hop into the 26 and two yoga sequence, 26 postures and two breathing exercises. Class can be challenging and that's okay. But if at any point in class, something doesn't feel right for your body, remember that you can modify you can do something else or you can skip it entirely. We're never going to a point of pain, a point where we could cause harm to ourselves or others. Hey, Sophie. Okay, we're gonna come towards the top of our mat with our feet close together for three rounds of uh, sun salutes. I'm gonna stand back a bit and show you in periphery. Take a moment standing up nice and tall with your arms down by your sides. Bring your hands together at heart center. And we'll begin with three rounds of Surya Namaskar, a sun salute. As you inhale, lift your arms up overhead, look up as if you were saluting or greeting the sun. Exhale, bend your knees, fold forward, hands to floor, relax your head. Inhale, lengthen into a halfway lift, back flat. You can have your hands on your thighs, your shins, or the floor in front of you. Exhale, bend your knees, put your hands on the floor, and step back into your high plank or tabletop position. On your next exhale, hug your elbows in and lower down halfway like you're pulling yourself down to the floor. Inhale, come up into a back bend. You can do cobra with elbows bent and thighs on the floor or up dog with arms straight and thighs off the floor. Exhale, tuck your toes under, lift your hips up for down dog. You can bend one knee, straighten the other, then try to press your heels to the floor, hips to the ceiling, spread your fingers wide, Drop your head, look for your thighs behind you. If down dog is not speaking to you today, come down onto your knees, sink your hips down, stretch your arms forward, take a child's pose instead. On your next inhale, hands to the floor, look forward, step forward, lengthen back into your halfway lift, shoulders away from the ears. Exhale, bend your knees, fold, relax your head. Inhale, arms with your ears, root to rise, lift up, look up. Exhale, hands down at heart center. Two more, inhale, lift your arms, look up. Exhale, biceps with ears fold. Inhale, lengthen halfway, shoulders away from ears. Exhale, hands to floor, step back into your high plank or tabletop. Let's hold our plank for a moment here. If that lowering down motion does not work for you, skip it, go straight from your plank or tabletop directly into your down dog or child's pose. Otherwise, take a vinyasa, lower down. Inhale, come up into your back bend. If you're doing up dog, make sure thighs off the floor. Exhale, lift your hips up for down dog or sink your hips down for child's pose. If you're doing down dog, spread your fingers wide. Root down through all 28 knuckles, especially the space between your index finger and thumb. Think about a nice long spine. On your next inhale, look forward, step forward, lengthen, back flat, halfway lift. Exhale, relax your head, fold. Inhale, biceps with ears, hands together, lift yourself up. Exhale, hands down at heart center. Last one, inhale, lift your arms, look up. Exhale, bend your knees, fold. Inhale, lengthen halfway. Exhale, hands to floor, step back, tie plank, keep exhaling, lower down. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. If you're doing down dog, try to get your heels on the floor. If your heels are not touching the floor, you can try taking a wider stance. You can also micro bend your knees, press your heels down, lift your hips up, look for your thighs behind you. On your next inhale, hands to floor, look forward, step forward, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, root to rise, lift up. Exhale, hands down. Wonderful, so that's our little warm up. We will now hop into 26 and two yoga, starting with pranayama, deep breathing. Good for your lungs and respiratory system. Inhale through your nose. Exhale through your mouth. All the time against the back of your throat. Bring your feet together. Toes heels touching nicely. Interlock your 10 fingers. Cross your thumbs and glue your knuckles underneath your chin. Rock your weight into your heels. Relax your shoulders down away from your ears. You made it to class. Concentrate. Meditate and begin. Inhale, chin down and arms up. Breathe in through your nose. Lift your elbows up. Suck your stomach in. Fill up your lungs. Exhale, head up. Exhale through your mouth. H-A, sound head back. Arms forward, elbows touch. Good, inhale. Elbows out and arms up. Slowly bring your chin down. Look straight ahead. Exhale, head up. Arms forward and head back. Look way, way, way back. Elbows forward, elbows touch away from your body. 
Inhale, head down, breathe in through your nose, down through your throat to the very bottom of your lungs. Exhale, head up as you exhale, open your mouth wide like you're fogging up a mirror on the ceiling. Look back, arms forward, elbows touch. Inhale, head down, every new inhale. You wanna take in more air than the last breath to expand your lung capacity. Exhale, head up, the more you exhale here, the more fresh oxygen you can take in on your next breath, push the air out. Inhale, head down. So make this the deepest breath so far, breathing into the top of the lungs, middle of the lungs, bottom of the lungs, full lungs. Exhale, head up. In our day-to-day -day life, we don't really use the full lung capacity, but the lungs need to be worked out like any other part of the body. Inhale, head down. Keep your eyes open, jaw relaxed, weight in the heels as you lift your elbows up. Exhale, head up. Use your eyes to trace an arc along the ceiling. Look for the wall behind you, arms forward, elbows touching, pointing towards the wall in front of you. Inhale, head down. This is the last breath. First set, spine a little longer, elbows a little higher, lungs a little fuller. Suck your stomach in, breathe deep, full lungs. Exhale, head up. Take your time. Eyes open, hips forward, legs locked, stomach in. Keep exhaling, push, squeeze, elbows touch. Good, change, arms down, you can roll out your shoulders and head. Second set, feet together, interlock your 10 fingers, cross your thumbs, glue your knuckles underneath your chin, maybe switch the grip, other thumb, pinky finger on top. Squeeze your thighs, squeeze your butt, grow taller out of the base of your spine, and begin, inhale, chin down and arms up, breathe in through your nose, lift your elbows up, suck your stomach in, fill up your lungs. Exhale, head up, exhale through your mouth, Slowly head back, slowly arms forward, elbows touch away from your body. Inhale, head down, use your chin to push your knuckles down, palms face the floor, little knuckle stretch. Exhale, head up, now use your knuckles to push your head back, squeeze your palms together, wrist straight, wrist together, forearms, elbows touch. Inhale, head down, keep the weight in your heels. Notice if you're rocking back and forth or side to side. Exhale, head up. Lower body stays still like a statue, just your head drops back, no backward bending, arms forward, elbows touch. Inhale, head down. So we want to use our strength to create a strong foundation. Squeeze your thighs, squeeze your butt, lock your legs. Exhale, head up. Keep your abdominal wall engaged. So stomach in, look back, stretch your arms forward, elbows touch. Inhale, head down, think like an accordion. As you inhale, open your rib cage, open your elbows, open your lung capacity. Exhale, head up, and as you exhale, you're squeezing, pushing the air out. As you squeeze the arms together, squeeze the lungs out of the air, out of the lungs, elbows touch. Inhale, head down, let's do two more breaths. In the second set, making this one the deepest breath so far. Exhale, head up, most relaxed exhale so far. Slowly head back, look back, slowly arms forward. Keep exhaling, elbows touch. Inhale, head down, this is last breath. Second set, deepest breath of your life when your lungs are totally full, surprise yourself. Take in one more sip of air. Exhale, head up. Take your time, let everything go through the exhale breath. Any worries, any cares, let them go. Be here now, elbows touch. Good, change, arms down. We'll continue Ardha Chandrasana with Padastasana, half moon with hands to feet pose, feet together. Inhale, arms overhead, palms together. Interlock fingers, release index fingers, cross thumbs, nice tight grip. Stretch up out of your waist and bend right and left, right and left. Every time you pass through the middle, stretch up a little taller. And when you can't stretch anymore, come to stop in the middle. Bring the weight into your heels, press your hips a little forward, squeeze your palms together, head and arms back, touch your biceps to your ears. Inhale, breathing, stretch up out of your waist, try to touch the ceiling. Exhale, breathing, absolutely straight line, slowly bend your body to the right. Without bending your elbows and knees, continuously press your hips to the left beyond your flexibility. You're trying to create a tremendous stretching feeling in the left side of your body, all over, inside out, bones to skin, fingers to toes. Just remember, it's the first posture of the day. If you're in DC today, it's like 80 degrees for the first time in a year, so keep that in mind too. As we breathe through seasonal transitions, postures might feel a little different, and that's okay. Keep the weight in your heels, hips a little forward, upper body back, touch your biceps to your ears. Ears. Push your left hip a little forward, get your two hips in line. Now bring your right shoulder forward, open your chest like a flower petal blooming. Come down, push, push, 
push, change, inhale to come up, stop in the middle, hips forward, arms back, stretch up, and slowly bend to the left as you press your hips to the right. Come down without bending your elbows, without bending your knees, and without holding your breath or gritting your teeth. Relax your jaw, seal your lips, and breathe through your nose. With the exceptions of sit-ups later on in class and the breathing exercise at the end of class, we're going to breathe through our nose the whole time. If you ever find that you're holding your breath or you have to breathe through your mouth, slow down, do a little bit more. Less is more until one day less is less. And that's when you go a little deeper. Inhale, lengthen the arms. Exhale, come down, push and push and push. Change, inhale to come up. First back bend of the day, take a deep breath, full lungs, keep your eyes open. Relax your head back as far as it goes. Maybe give your head a gentle shake, look for the floor behind you. Squeeze your butt, lift your chest, and immediately bring your arms back with your ears. Try to touch the wall behind you. So whole spine, backward bending from coccyx to the neck, lower back, middle back, upper back. Bend your total spine, backward bending. Try to fall down backwards, max some weight in your heels. Inhale, breathing, push stomach, thighs, hips, everything forward and bring your arms back. Look back, fall back, way back, go back, more back, good, change. Inhale to come up, stretch off. Exhale, bend your knees, fold, hands to floor, drop your head, go for a walk, move your hips, shake your head. This is a U-turn from back bending to forward folding. At the beginning of class, your spine might not be quite warmed up yet. Move your hips to get your lower back nice, relaxed, comfortable, easy, flexible. Padastasana, hands to feet pose, bend your knees halfway. You can grab the backs of your calves, your Achilles, or your heels from underneath. Step on all 10 fingers, pull on your heels. Roll your weight into your toes and lift your hips up. Stretch your upper body down from the lower spine to the floor. Pulling is the object of stretching. You're trying to create a tremendous stretching feeling on the back of your body, all over, inside out, bones to skin, fingers to toes of the smiling, happy face. Keep pulling, keep stretching, roll forward, hips up, knees back, change. Come on up, biceps of the ears, try to lift up with a flat back. Very nice, arms down and you stand a little taller. Second set, feet together, inhale, arms overhead, palms together, interlock fingers, release index fingers, cross thumbs, maybe switch the grip, other thumb, pinky finger on top. Press your hips a little forward, lean your body back like you're leaning your whole body against a wall behind you. Inhale, stretch up. Exhale, slowly drop to the right as you press your hips to the left. Notice if the hips or shoulders start to come out of alignment. You want to keep everything opening to the front of your mat space. Weight in your heels, hips a little more forward, upper body back. Touch your arms to your ears. Make sure that the right elbow and right knee aren't starting to bend, right? Push right elbow into, uh, push right bicep into right ear, and then lift your right kneecap up. Lengthen the arms, press your hips to the left, come down, push, push push, change, inhale to come up, hips forward, arms back, stretch up and slowly bend to the left as you press your hips to the right. So you want to use your strength here, squeeze your butt, lift your kneecaps, engage your abdominal wall, squeeze your palms together, keep the weight in your heels, hips forward, arms back, make sure your neck is in line with the rest of your spine so you're not dropping your head down, but you're also not leaning it all the way back. Push your right hip a little forward to get your two hips in line, left shoulder forward, open your chest, like a flower petal blooming on a lovely April day. Come down, push and push and push. Change, inhale to come up. Second heart opener, deep breath, full lungs. Keep your eyes open, drop your head back as far as it goes. Squeeze your butt, lift your chest and bring your arms back with your ears. Imagine you're tracing your fingers along the ceiling. Notice when the hands start to come apart and the wrists or even the elbows bend, squeeze your palms together, actively push your hands back, arms back, look back, fall back, way back, go back, more back. Change, inhale to come up, stretch up. Exhale, go down with a flat back, hands to floor, drop your head, go for another walk, move your hips, shake your head. Second set, notice what's a little bit more loose and what's still a little tighter, tender. And remember that there's no right or wrong answer to that question. Yoga is a really wonderful opportunity to check in, checking in with our body, checking in with our mind and checking in with how our mind and body interact. Second set, Padastasana, bend your knees halfway. You can grab the backs of your legs or your heels from underneath, pull on your heels, roll your weight into your toes and lift your hips up. Push your big toes down, spiral inner thighs back, pull and stretch, pull on your heels, roll your weight into your toes, lift your hips up, push your knees back, lock your knees, lock your knees, lock your knees. Good, change, come up, biceps with the ears, try to lift yourself up. Very nice, arms down, and you stand a little taller. Awkward Ukatasana, step your right foot to the right. 
about six inches hip width distance. Make sure it's not too big of a step. You want the insides of your feet perfectly parallel, like 11s, arms up parallel to the floor. Tricep muscles tight, all five fingers together, thumbs with your index fingers, fingers in line with your collarbones. Abdomen in, bend your knees, sit back and down into a chair, feet flat position. Spine straight to begin with, 100% of your body weight in your heels. Sit down halfway only, hips into a chair. Suck your stomach in and lean your upper body back. Depression to abdominal wall, contraction to abdominal muscles. Suck it in, hold it in tight. Notice if your knees are going in or out, keep the knees pointing in the same direction as your big toes, forward. Now lift your chin up, chest up, lean back, fall back, way back, change, inhale to come up, keep your arms there, press your hips a little forward, spread your toes wide. Now come up maximum on your tippy tippy toes like a ballerina. Imagine somebody has you by the ponytail, stretching you up to the ceiling, bend your knees, sit down, lean back. Same thing, notice if your knees are coming in or out, Point your knees forward so that your hips stay square. Heels a little higher, knees a little higher. Sit down into a chair, but don't sit below a chair. Change, inhale to come up. Last part, still breathing. Okay, now knees come together, but keep the insides of your feet parallel. Just the knees, thighs pressing together. Let your heels come a little off the floor and slowly sit down. Stop whenever you want or keep sitting down until there's a half inch gap between your hips and heels. Squeeze your knees together and forward, thighs parallel to the floor, arms parallel to the thighs, spine perfectly straight from the side, looks like you're holding a box. Change, slowly come up, knees together, knees together. Good, heels down, right foot back, arms down, take a breath. Second set, step your right foot to the right hip with distance. I'll show you at an angle, insides of your feet parallel, arms up, parallel to the floor, triceps tight, abdomen in, bend your knees, sit back and down. So remember you can stick your butt out and fold forward to get your thighs parallel to the floor, triceps tight, shoulders soft, mouth closed, jaw relaxed, abdomen in, start to lean back, lift your chin up, chest up, lean back, change, inhale to come up, keep your arms there, press your hips a little forward, spread your toes wide, now come up maximum on your tippy toes. Your triceps are super tight here, so you're simultaneously stretching the arms forward and back at the same time, really active arms. Lift your heels, bend your knees, sit down. So it looks like your arms aren't moving, but you're really stretching and dropping the shoulders at the same time. Heels up, knees up, sit down, change, inhale to come up, Last part, still breathing, squeeze your knees together, keep the arms active, let your heels come a little off the floor and slowly sit down. The slower you do, the better you do. Stop when there's still a little bit of a gap between your hips and heels, so squeeze your knees together and forward. So if I put a baseball on your thigh, it would roll forward. Lift your hips, relax your jaw, change, slowly come up. Good, heels down, right foot back, arms down. Eagle pose, Garasana, look at your arms, identify which arm is right, which arm is left, don't mix them up. Inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, swing your right arm, under left arm, right elbow, under left elbow, cross first at your elbows, again if you can at your wrists. Palms together, thumbs towards your nose, pinkies to the front of your face. You can also interlock fingers, grab a thumb or grab your shoulders and give yourself a big bear hug. Pull your elbows down, bend your knees, sit back and down, try to keep your hips down low. And bring your right leg over your left leg. Right leg over left, cross twist, and eventually wrap your right foot behind your left calf muscle. Doesn't have to be today or tomorrow. If your foot is coming out, sit down more. If you're losing your balance, arch your upper body back. Bring your knees to the right, upper body to the left, twist like ropes. Keep the weight in your heel, sit back and down, lean your upper body back at the end. Good, change. Feet together, arms over your head. Let's do the left side. Bring your left arm under your right arm, left under right, palms together, thumbs towards your face, pinkies towards the front of your mat. Pull your elbows down, bend your knees, sit back and down. Try to keep your hips low and bring your left leg over your right leg, left over right, cross twist, and eventually wrap your foot. If your foot's not wrapping, just point your toes where you want them to go one day, never forcing. On this side, bring your knees a little to the left, and upper body to the right. We're decompressing all the major joints in the body, seven on each side, deltoids, scapula, elbows, wrists, hips, knees, and ankles. For today, try to line up those joints, elbows over knees, sit down and lean back. Good, change. Feet together, arms over your head, showing you at an angle, bring your right arm, under left arm, pull elbows down, stick your butt out, sit back and down, try to stay down there and bring right leg 
over left leg, cross twist and breathe. Push your left hip a little forward, right shoulder a little forward to sit down more, shift the weight back into your heel, stick your butt out, sit down more, pull your elbows down, abdomen in, arch your upper body back at the end. Good, change feet together, arms over your head, last one. Bring left arm zoop, under right arm, think bicep under tricep, pull elbows down, one day fingers go below the nose, I'm not quite there yet. Bend your knees, sit back and down, try to keep your hips low and bring your left leg over your right leg, left over right, cross twist. Think about bringing right knee to right and left knee to left, right elbow to right and left elbow to left. Feel deep compression running down the center line of your body among all your major joints, sit a little bit lower, lean your upper body back at the end. Good, change feet together, arms over your head, arms down, party time. You can grab a sip of water if you want. Move this out of the way. Cheers, friends. <laughs> all right. Sorry. Great to be here with all of you. Let's continue. Okay, for the next three postures, we balance on one leg. If you fall out, hop back in, keep it simple. Standing head to knee, Dande Amana, Johnny Shirasana. Shift your weight to your left leg, block your left leg. Lift your right thigh up, you can point your toes, flex your toes, keep your toes flexed back to your face. Option to stay here or as you're ready, round down and eventually pick up your right foot. All 10 fingers interlocked, webbing to webbing grip. From start to finish, standing leg should be solid concrete one piece lamp post unbroken, you have no knee. If you've been coming for a while, all of you have, and you know your left leg is locked, no bend, no wobble. Inhale breathing slowly, gently lift your right leg up. Stretch it forward until your right leg is exactly parallel to the floor, no higher, no lower, standing leg locked. Take a deep breath, kick your heel forward, continuously keep kicking without stopping, without intermission, flex all five of your right toes, Back towards your face from the ankle, you're training your Achilles to stretch. If both legs lock from the side legs, make an upside down L like Linda, start to bend elbows down. Touch elbows to calf muscles. One day elbows go below the calf muscles. Lock your knee, lock your knee, lock your knee. Change, slowly reverse. Out, shift your weight to your right leg. Evenly distribute your body weight on your right foot without grabbing the floor of your toes. Contract your inner thigh as well as your outer thigh. Squeeze your right glute. Lift your left leg up, point your toes, flex your toes, keep your toes flexed back to your face. Option to stay here, or as you're ready, round down and pick up your left foot. All 10 fingers interlocked, like you're about to help your best friend over a fence. Lock your right leg, flex your toes back to your face, and when you're ready, slowly lift your left leg up. I had a student send me an animal video on Instagram, and I was like, why are they sending this to me? It was like a bear helping its babies over a fence and she was like, look, they're trying to help their friends over a fence. Kick your heel forward, flex your toes back. If your standing leg is bending a lot, think about lifting your hips up until both legs lock and then bend elbows down, touch elbows to calf muscles. Notice that the elbows are going out, bring the elbows in and down. One day elbows go below the calf muscles, change, slowly reverse. Out, you can put your hands on your back, do a little back bend, boom, or an even, ha. Ah. Second set, shift your weight to your left leg. Evenly distribute your body weight on your left foot without grabbing the floor of your toes. Lift your right leg up, flex your toes back. Option to stay here, or when you're ready, round down, and pick up your foot, concentrate, meditate. Don't forget to have fun, help your friend over the fence. Inhale, lift your right leg up. If both legs lock, bend elbows down. If elbows go below calf muscles, slowly tuck your chin to your chest. Put your forehead on your knee. Hold wherever you are for 10, 9, 8, breathe, 7, hold, 6, 5, you can do it, 4, 3, 2, 1. Take your time as you slowly reverse out. Good for you. Last one, shift your weight to your right leg, lock your right leg. Lift your left leg up, flex your toes back, abdomen in, round down, pick up your foot, all 10 fingers interlocked. When you're ready, let's go. Lift your left leg up, press your heel forward, flex your toes back. If both legs lock, puff up your chest and bend elbows down. If elbows go below calf muscles, slowly tuck your chin to your chest. Put your forehead on your knee and hold here for 10, 9, 
nine, shoulders down, eight, seven, toes back, five, four, stomach in, three, you can do it, two, hold, one, change, slowly reverse out. Good for you, standing bow pulling pose, Dande Mama, Dhanurasana. Feet together, bring your right hand up, elbow touches the body, palm faces the ceiling, bring your hand out to the right, give yourself a high five for practicing yoga today. Yes, reach back without turning or twisting your wrist. Pick up the inside of your right foot at the ankle bone, thumb with your index finger. Bring your left arm up, right hip forward, knees together. Lock your left leg, point your right toes, take a breath, stretch out, and slowly charge your body forward. Simultaneously kick your right leg back and up. Take your time. Slowly bring your body down and your leg up. See the foot come directly over the top of your head. So from the side, two heels in line. Kick back and up. In other words, two shoulders in line. Touch your chin to your shoulder, shoulder blade, scapula stretching away from the body. Kicking and stretching should be equal, simultaneous, 50-50. The harder you kick, you can balance forever. Kick really hard. Take your time, keep kicking, keep breathing, still breathing through the nose with a nice back bend, body down more, leg up more, kick, kick, kick. Good, change, slowly kick yourself up, feet together, arms down, take a breath. Let's do the other side, bring your left hand up, out to the left, reach back without turning or twisting your wrist, pick up the inside of your left foot at the ankle, right arm up and back, Knees together, start with your hips in line. Lift your right kneecap, point your left toes, lift your chin, take a breath, lift your shoulder, stretch up, and slowly kick into your hand, stretch forward to the wall in front of you, breathe in and out through your nose. Remember that this is a back bend. Try to feel each part of your vertebrae compressing, except your neck. The neck is nice and long, so chin away from the chest, Big toe to the ceiling, right shoulder forward, left shoulder up, kicking, stretching, equal, simultaneous, 50-50. The harder you kick, you can balance forever. If you fall out, you're not kicking hard enough, hop back in. You're kicking in two directions, you're kicking back, and you're kicking up. So if you can't kick back anymore, start kicking up to the ceiling. Body down more, leg up more, kick, kick, kick. Good, change slowly. Kick yourself up, feet together, arms down, take a breath. It's my favorite part, heart pumping, and you're still able to hold still. Second set, bring your right hand up, out to the right, reach back without turning or twisting your wrist, pick up the inside of your right foot, make sure thumb with index finger, left arm up, right hip forward, lock your left leg, point your right toes, take a breath, stretch up and slowly kick, stretch, breathe. Kick into your hand, stretch forward, breathe through your nose. Slowly body down to parallel, big toe to the ceiling, lift your left kneecap, point your right toes, lift your right kneecap, body down, leg up, kick, kick, kick. Good, change, Whew. slowly come up, feet together, Arms down, take a breath. Last one, bring your left hand up, out to the left, reach back without turning or twisting your wrist. Pick up the inside of your left foot at the ankle, right arm up, left hip forward, knees together, lock your right leg, point your left toes, take a breath, stretch up, and slowly kick, stretch, and breathe. Kick into your hand, stretch forward, breathe in and out through your nose, all five fingers together, Thumb with your index finger, palm of your right hand, faces the floor, get your right arm exactly parallel to the floor. Slowly come down, keep the chin and chest lifted, body down, leg up, kick, kick, kick. Good, change, Whew. kick yourself up, okay. Come to the back of your mat. I always feel like a cheerleader when I'm like, come to the back of your mat. Okay, feet together, inhale, arms overhead, palms together, interlock fingers, release index fingers, cross thumbs, lean back, Step your right foot forward, shift your weight to your right foot, stretch up, point your left toes, squeeze your butt cheeks and start to tilt. Arms, body, head, legs, everything parallel to the floor one day. From the side, body makes a T like Tom, but not a broken umbrella. Body down more, leg up more, 
stretch, stretch, stretch. Good, change left foot down, right foot back, lean back, step your left foot forward, a big step, shift your weight to your left foot, stretch up, point your right toes and tilt. Notice when the right hip starts to lift up. Freeze there, drop your right hip down, now come down parallel. So right foot a little to the right, drop your right hip down, spiral your inner right thigh up, stretch. Good, change right foot down, left foot back, arms down. So one of the things that we wanna practice, especially you know, as we move into like being familiar with this yoga sequence, right? Nobody's brand new here. You wanna practice finding stillness between the postures. So it's everything that you do on your yoga mat is part of your yoga class, not just the asanas, but finding stillness and intention, even in the breaths in between. Second set, feet together, arms over your head, interlock fingers, release index fingers, cross thumbs, other side, step your right foot forward, shift your weight to your right foot, stretch up, point your left toes and tilt. So I'm not gonna come down all the way because I have an aggravated hip, but you can come down all the way parallel to the floor, the cool thing about this style of yoga is that it's structured so that even if you go a millimeter into the posture with the right form, you get all the benefits, stretch, stretch, stretch. Good, change left foot down, right foot back, lean back, step your left foot forward, shift your weight to your left foot, stretch up, point your right toes and tilt. So again, it's okay if your heart rate, you know, is picking up here, but you're never going to a point of pain, a point of harm, chest down, Chin forward, biceps with ears, stretch, 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 change. Right foot down, left foot back, arms down. And enough of that. You can come to the top of your mat and face the long side of your mat for the next three postures. I will continue to face you. Standing, separate leg stretching, Dandayamana, Vikaptapada, Paschimottanasana. Inhale, arms over head. Exhale, step your right foot to the right, big step. Four feet minimum, arms down parallel to the floor. Turn your toes in, heels out, lift your chest, and swan dive forward. Good, grab your heels from behind. If you can't grab your heels, you can try grabbing the outsides of your feet, your pinky toes. You can also start with your hands on the floor in front of you. Everybody roll forward, find your edge, lift your hips up, push your knees back, lock your legs. First the leg stretching, then the hip stretching, lower spine, whole spine, Full body stretching, 360 degree angle stretching, coccyx to toes, coccyx to forehead, touch your forehead to the floor, in between your feet. Very nice change, slowly come up, take your time, step your right foot back to the place, arms over your head and arms down. Good, second set, inhale, arms over head. Exhale, step your right foot to the right, big step, arms down parallel to the floor, toes in, heels out, chest up. Swan dive forward, so you wanna hinge at your hips. Good, grab your heels, touch your head to the floor. If your forehead's already touching the floor, take a slightly smaller step. If your forehead's nowhere near the floor, maybe try taking a bigger step. Roll forward a little bit, push your big toes down, lift your hips up, keep pulling, keep stretching, hips up, pull stomach through thighs, chest through knees, and then drop your head, try to touch your head to the floor in between your feet, nice long neck. Good, change, slowly come up, take your time, very nice. Step your right foot back, arms over your head, and arms down. Triangle, Trikonasana, this is the summit, the peak of the standing series. Inhale, arms over head. Exhale, step your right foot to the right, big step, four feet minimum, arms down parallel to the floor. You want your ankles underneath your wrists, kind of like a marionette. Push your hips forward, lean your upper body back, turn your right foot out, maybe left toes in a little bit, bend your right leg and lunge. Sit as low as you can, lean back and move your arms at the same time. So if you can get your thigh parallel to the floor, then you'll probably have your elbow in front of the knee. It's not so much about getting your elbow in front of the knee, it's about creating a nice long line from your ankle to the crown of your head. So notice if you're collapsing all the way down to get elbow in front of the knee, try to stay lifted, right? And look up towards the ceiling, touch your chin to your shoulder. Also notice if you're all the way up, right? You wanna come down a little bit and feel the right side body, right oblique, lifting, squeezing, strengthening. Drop your left thigh down, push your right knee back, reach your arms apart, turn, twist, lock your left leg, keep your left foot flat on the floor, change. Rotate your arms, straighten your right leg, right toes in, 
left toes out, other side, two heels in line. Inhale, breathing, bend your left leg and lunge. And to sit down more, you can try pressing your right hip forward. You can also try taking a slightly bigger or smaller step. Bend your right leg, lunge, sit down, lean back, and move your arms at the same time. So again, if you can get your left thigh bicep parallel to the floor, then maybe elbow in front of the knee, hover your fingertips just between your big and second toe. Don't touch the floor, don't push any weight on the floor. Look up to the ceiling, touch your chin to your shoulder, Profile of your face, visible to the side of your mat. Push your right hip forward and down. Push your left knee back with the help of your elbow. Now turn, twist upper body back, lock your right leg. Keep your right foot flat on the floor. Change, rotate your arms, straighten your left leg. Left toes in, right foot back, arms over your head and arms down. Good, I'm liking this side angle thing. Okay, second set. Inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, step your right foot to the right, big step. Push your hips forward, lean your upper body back, turn your right foot out, left toes in, inhale, bend your right leg, sit as low as you can, lean back and move your arms. Also notice if your butt's sticking out and you're folding forward, you wanna push your hips forward and lean back, really engage your lower abdominal wall, look up, stretch up, reach your left arm up, stretch your right arm down, sit down more, chest up more, right rib cage forward, open your chest like a flower petal blooming, lock your left leg, keep your left foot flat on the floor, change, rotate your arms, straighten your right leg, right toes in, left toes out, make sure your heels are in line, other side, here we go, bend your left leg, sit as low as you can, lean back and move your arms, elbow in front of the knee, hover your fingertips between your big and second toe, rather than your heel, again, never touching the floor, look up towards the ceiling, touch your chin to your shoulder, Drop your right thigh down, push your left knee back. Now bring left rib cage forward, right shoulder back. Open your arms, open your chest, turn, twist, lock your right leg, keep your right foot flat on the floor. Change, rotate your arms, straighten your left leg, left toes in, right foot back, arms over your head, and with control, float your arms down. Wonderful, okay. Standing separate leg, head to knee, Dande Mana, Bikaptapada, Janu Sharasana. Inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, step your right foot to the right. Three to four feet, a generous step. Be generous with yourself. Pivot on your heels to one side of the room. Turn your back toes in. Push your left hip forward. One, two, three, four, five times beyond your flexibility. Stretch up. Tuck your chin to your chest and go down with control. Chin to chest, abdomen in. Bend your front leg if you need to. Touch knee and head together. Front leg compression. Throat choked, eyes open, breathing normal. Stretch all 10 fingers beyond your big and second toe. Bring maximum weight to your right front leg. Lift your right hip up. Press your left hip forward to get your two hips in line. Push forehead into knee, lock both legs, hands together. Change slowly with control and curl. Take your time. Head up last. Good, pivot on your heels to the other side of the room. Uncross your heels, turn your back toes in. Then you can rotate your right hip forward until your hips and armpits are in line. Stretch up, tuck your chin to your chest and slowly with control go down. Arms should be an extension of the spine, like one long arc from the side. Chin to chest, abdomen in, bend your front leg, touch knee and head together. Front side compression, throat choke, thighs open, breathing normal. Um, if your back is like pulling or tugging and not in a pleasant way, ease up a little bit. You can flatten out your back. Eventually you're gonna round your spine so much, but forehead and knee touch, but we're never forcing the body. Rounded spine postures are ones to be careful of, especially if you have a history of like slip discs, right? Take it easy on any posture where you round your back. There's only four of them in the series. Push your forehead into your knee, lock both legs, hands together, change slowly, uncurl, right hip forward, right shoulder forward, full stop at the top foot. Good, pivot on your heels, right foot back, arms down. Take a breath. Okay, second set, inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, step your right foot to the right, at least a meter, pivot on your heels to one side of the room, turn your back toes in, push your left hip forward, stretch up, tuck your chin to your chest and go down. Can you look at your belly button all the way down? You cannot see your front foot all the way down. Chin to chest, abdomen in. If your forehead and knee aren't yet touching, you can try taking a bigger step. You can bend your front leg, touch your knee and head together, 
front side compression. Stretch your fingers beyond your big and second toe and maybe start to walk hands back together. Maybe thumbs cross, maybe palms together. Push your forehead into your knee, walk both legs, hands together. Change slowly on curls. If you're dragging your forehead up your thigh, your chest, head up last, very nice. Pivot on your heels to the other side of the room. Turn your back toes in, push your right hip forward, left rib cage back, stretch up. Tuck your chin to your chest and go down. Notice if the hip starts to lift up, right? You wanna keep the hips square, hips in line. So right hip forward, think about moving right rib cage a little bit towards left thigh. Chin to chest, abdomen in, stretch your fingers forward, left hip up, right hip forward, throat choked, eyes open, jaw relaxed, stomach in, breathing normal. Lock your right leg, push your forehead into your knee, lock your left leg, lift both kneecaps, hands together, change. Imagine you're dragging your forehead up your thigh, your chest, biceps with the ears, head up last. Good, pivot on your heels, right foot back, arms down. Come to the middle of your mat for tree pose. Tadasana, lock your left leg and lift your right leg up. Maybe at first the foot's on top of the shin, the knee, the thigh, eventually heel to costume, slowly, gently, let your right knee drop down and back into a half lotus shape, never force your body. Right hand up to the center of your chest, and if you can balance left hand, elbows down, chest up, take a breath. Good, change, slowly lower your right leg down, shift your weight to your right leg, lift your right knee cap, and then left leg up. Heel to costume, let your left knee drop, and this side might feel a little or a lot different, and that's okay. Left hand up to the center of your chest, and if you can balance, right hand up. If your foot falls, continue to hold on to your foot with your hand. Press your hips forward, drop your shoulders, stretch the crown of your head up to the ceiling. Good, and release, change, left leg down. You're welcome to do a second set of tree pose. You can also try toe stand, padangustasana. Pick a spot on the floor, four feet in front of you. Don't move your eyes. It helps with balance, concentration, meditation, and focus off of your yoga mat as well. Lock your left leg and lift your right leg up. Anywhere above your knee is great. I'm already falling out of the posture. Anywhere above your knee is great. You can bring one or both hands together. Option to stay here or start to fold forward. At first, just hang it out. One day fingertips to floor, one day walk your arms forward, lean forward, lift your heel, bend your knee, sit down. Walk your hands back to either sides of your hips. Whether you are in tree pose or toe stand, point your right toes, press your right hip forward, drop your right knee down. Left hand, right hand, palms together, elbows down, spine straight, come a half inch off your heel. Good, when you're ready, hands to floor, lift your hips up to straighten your standing leg and then press your hips forward to reverse out. Very nice change, right leg down, lock your right leg and lift your left leg up, heel to costume. Remember this side might feel different and that's okay. You can bring one or both hands together. If your foot has a tendency to fall, hold on to your foot on the way down, safer for your knees. When you're ready, fold forward, hands to floor, lean forward, lift your heel, bend your knee. As you sit down, you're putting the weight in your arms. Walk your hands back to either sides of your hips, whether you're in tree or toe, Point your left toes, press your left hip forward, drop your left knee down. So you're trying to square off your hips and knees. Left hand, right hand, spine straight, chest up, come a half inch off your heel. Good, when you're ready, hands to floor, you can come up on two feet or lift your hips up to straighten the standing leg and then push your hips forward to reverse out. Very nice, change, left leg down. Honor yourself, give yourself high five, fist bump. Turn around, savasana, we're on the floor for the rest of class. I'm gonna adjust our camera angle a little bit here. Okay, head to the front of your mat, feet to the back of your mat, heels together, toes fall open, arms down, Palms face the ceiling, eyes open, mouth closed, breathing normal. Take an inhale through your nose, feel your chest rise. Exhale through your nose, feel your chest fall. Good. 
some of my friends joke that I'm a Disney princess um, <laughs> and that like I'm magically friends with all the animals in the forest. Uh, my therapist would call that transference and the idea that yoga teachers somehow leave uh, completely harmonious lives, which is not true. And I hope that I'm not falsely uh, <laughs> spreading that to you. That is not true. Uh, but this week I've had a really weird thing with birds. Like yesterday I was hanging out in a park and this bird just like came up a few feet away and just did this beautiful bird song for a solid two minutes. And I kept being like, should I take a video? Should I take a video? And I was like, no, just enjoy it. This is beautiful. But then finally I was like, wow, this has been going on for two minutes. So I went to take a video and then of course the bird flew away. And then today I was like having kind of a sad afternoon and like laying in bed, like doing a meditation. And I just heard this cooing and I turned and looked out the window and this bird, like not even a pigeon, but like a pretty bird had like landed on our tiny little sill and was cooing at me. And I was like, should I take a video? Should I take a video? No, just enjoy it. Stay in the present moment. Should I take a video? Just enjoy it. Finally, this bird is cooing at me for a minute. I was like, oh, come on. So I got out my video camera and then the bird flew away, right? Um, now, obviously this is just a coincidence. Uh, I'm not a Disney princess and clearly I am not meant to be like a National Geographic videographer because anytime I take out my camera, animals run away from me, which is, is good, right? That means they have some survival instincts in them. <laughs> but it keeps reminding me of like, you know what? There's little signs all around us if you wanna look for them that are just telling us, you know, I, I believe truly out there somewhere in the universe, like something mysterious is kind of looking out for us. And you know, sometimes when you're having a bad day, a bird might come up to you, maybe it poops on your shoulder, maybe it sings you a little bird song. Um, but whenever you're having a bad day, you're just feeling a little bit lonely, look for the little signs around you. Uh, don't go crazy, but look for the little signs around you. And I promise you'll see, you know, a bird or a butterfly or just some other, some other symbol that things will be okay. Pavana Muktasana, when you're moving pose, keep your left leg nice and long, bend your right leg on the floor, interlock your 10 fingers, grab your right shin, nice tight, white knuckle grip. Pull your knee out to the right, down towards your shoulder. Completely avoid your rib cage. Keep your head on the floor. Look down the center line of your body. Pull down extra hard. Change right leg down. Bend your left leg up. Pull your knee out to the left, down towards your shoulder. Completely avoid your rib cage. Keep your right leg on the floor. If your right calf muscle does not naturally touch the floor, try flexing your right toes back to your face. Change left leg down. Both legs lift up. Grab your elbows each other. Give yourself a big hug for coming to class. If you can't grab your elbows, you can interlock your fingers, grab your shins, grab your wrists or forearms. Get as compact as feels right for you. Keep your head on the floor. Look down the center line of your body, pull and squeeze eventually, or in the future when the bone joint skeletal system has improved the whole spine from coccyx to the neck will be flat on the floor. Change, arms down and eyes open. And the other thing that, you know, those birds and my, like, in the back of my head, right, I'm such a millennial, I'm like, if I don't put it on Instagram, it didn't happen, right? Like, I have to take a video of it with my phone. That, you know, reminds me of one of the reasons why I absolutely love yoga is, like, we put our phones down, right? And we're not, um, we're not doing this in a performative sense. Like, we're really just doing it for ourselves. Um, ironically, during COVID, I have recorded these for you too, but I'm not recording you, right? I'm just recording myself. Um, but I just love that. In a world where we're so tied to our phones, and at least in my generation, so tied to like posting and sharing things, I love that yoga is this communal experience where we're like witnessing each other and witnessing ourselves, um, but you don't necessarily have to like show off, right? You're just kind of doing it together, breathing, being in your body, enjoying the bird sounds, the bird songs without, you know, having to like take video evidence of it. Second set, bend your right leg up, interlock your 10 fingers, maybe other thumb on top, pull your knee out to the right, down towards your shoulder. Notice if you're rolling way to the right, make a muscle with your left arm, try to keep your left shoulder, left glute, left leg on the floor. Change right leg down, bend your left leg up, pull your knee out and down. So in a good yoga class, even the eyeballs get a workout. That's why in pranayama deep breathing, you hear us say, look way, way, way back. And here you're gonna tuck your chin in a little bit and look down the center line of your body. Look for the wall behind you without lifting your head. Change left leg down, 
both legs lift up, grab your elbows each other, give yourself a big hug. Um, look for a diamond shape in between your knees and your arms, squeeze your knees together and down. So head on the floor, actively lift down the center line of your body as far as you can without lifting your head. Change, arms down and eyes open. Next, we do a straight leg sit up. If you have any concerns about your back, you can skip the sit up and roll off to the side. Otherwise, legs together, arms over your head, flex your feet, squeeze your seat, tuck your chin to your chest and sit up. Exhale, grab your big toes, exhale, elbows to floor, forehead to knees. Turn, lie on your abdomen for the spine strengthening series, starting with Cobra, Bhujangasana, good for your lower lumbar spine. Place your hands flat on the floor, just below your shoulders, so your elbows point up to the ceiling. Zip up your legs like a cobra's tail, toes and heels touch. Lock your legs, look up and lift. Stretch your upper body off the floor. Use 100% spine strength. Come up halfway only. Just your belly on the floor, the rest of your chest is in the air. Elbows stay bent, they make an L, a 90 degree angle like a rectangle. Roll your shoulders back and down, stretch your elbows to your hips, big toes to the wall behind you, lock your legs, push your feet down, squeeze your butt, push your hips down, hands down, hands flat, look up, chin up, chest up, stretch up, breathe up. Good, change, slowly lower down, tuck in your wings, look to the right, left ear on your mat, arms down, palms face the ceiling, toes together, heels fall open. Speaking of snakes, DC folks, one of the other things I just read that we have to look forward to is, you know, this summer there's going to be cicadas everywhere, right? Like as if things couldn't get weirder. But because of those cicadas, supposedly there will be more um, copperhead snakes out in the Maryland, DC, Virginia area. So if you were a hiker, Matt, I see you were already in the forest now. <laughs> Snakes, I hate snakes. Um, <laughs> make sure that you are watching for things underfoot when you go hiking this summer. Second set, cobra, chin forward, place your hands flat on the floor, just below your shoulders, feet together like a cobra's tail. So you don't have legs, you have one tail, lock your legs, look up and lift. But if you do see a snake, check them out because snakes are pure spine, baby. This is called the spine strengthening series. And I guarantee you a snake could show all of us up. If you ever watch a snake move, it's just pure muscle and vertebrae moving. And that's what we're doing here as well. We're strengthening the muscles that surround our back so that we have better mobility. Sometimes we think of strength and flexibility as opposing forces. But in yoga, we learned that like the most healthy body uses harnesses strength and flexibility at the same time. Press your feet and hands down, lift your chest up. Good, change, slowly lower down. Look to your left, right here on your mat. Arms down, palms face the ceiling, toes together, heels fall open. Now we've already talked about cicadas, but who doesn't love a locust? Locust Paul, Shalabhasana, chin forward, arm straight position, rotate your arms, palms face the floor, bring your arms underneath you as best you can. One day pinky fingers touch. This is the creepy crawly part of yoga. Lock your right leg, point your right toes and lift your right leg up. Triceps tight the whole time. Lift your right leg up to a 45 degree angle, half of 90. See the foot come directly over the top of your head. Press your shoulders down, lift your right thigh up, change, right leg down, relax your right leg, lock your left leg, point your left toes and lift your left leg up. Notice if you're pressing your wrists down, spread your fingers wide, try to press the palms of your fingers, your knuckles and the space between index finger and thumb down instead, change. Left leg down, third part, tuck your chin and mouth down, bring your arms a little closer underneath you, maybe micro bend your elbows, you wanna press the shoulders and hands down, rather than the elbows and chest. Mouth down, feet together, lock your legs, point your toes and lift both legs up, come up. Everybody come up, you can do it, struggle a little harder, don't give up, knees, feet together, stretch your big toes to the back wall, lock your legs, point your toes, lift your thighs up, good, change, lower down, bring your arms out, look to the right and take a breath. Second set. Bring your chin forward, arm straight position, rotate your arms underneath you. One day pinky fingers touch, but hands never overlap. Lock your right leg, point your right toes, and lift your right leg up. Stretch the big toe to the wall behind you. Notice if the hip is coming off the forearm. Drop your right hip down, spiral your inner right thigh up. Change, right leg down, relax your right leg, lock your left leg, point your left toes, lift your left leg up. So you want the sole of the foot facing the ceiling, relax your right leg. 
lock your left leg, stretch the big toe back, lift the thigh up, change left leg down, grand finale, tuck your chin and melt down, spread your fingers wide, squeeze your butt, lock your legs, point your toes, and lift both legs up, come up, everybody come up, you can do it, mouth down, shoulders down, triceps tight, squeeze your buns, lock your legs, point your toes, lift your thighs up, good, change lower down, bring your arms out, look to the left, and let that one go, fresh blood circulates through the shoulders, elbows, wrists, all the way into the fingertips. Just when you thought it couldn't get any more biblical, full locust, the next play, chin forward, bring your arms out to the side, full locust, burnish all of that feet together, toes, heels touch. This is some Old Testament stuff. Lock your legs, point your toes, look up and lift arms, body, head, legs, everything lifts off the floor like a 747, taking off just your hip bones on the floor, rest your bodies in the air. Look up to the ceiling where your eyes go, body nose to follow, hands at a 45 degree angle, arms perpendicular to the body, spread your fingers wide, keep your feet together, lock your legs, lift your thighs up, chin up, chest up, look up, come up a little higher at the end. Good, change, slowly lower down, tuck in your wings, look to the right, left ear on your mat, take an inhale through your nose, exhale through your nose. Second set, chin forward, arms out to the side, feet together, toes, heels touch, lock your legs, point your toes, look up and lift. Everything lifting off the floor, stretch your arms apart. This posture is so good for your back muscles. Keep your neck in line with the rest of your spine so you're not dropping your head down. But you're also not jamming it all the way back. Knees, feet together, lock your legs, point your toes, thighs up, chin up, chest up, look up, come up a little higher at the end. Good, change, slowly lower down, tuck in your wings, look to the left, right here on your mat, take a breath. You know, earlier when I was joking about snakes, well, not joking. When I was giving you a PSA about snakes in Maryland this summer, I very quickly said, snakes, I hate snakes, which for my cinephiles out there is a quote from Indiana Jones, right? So Indiana Jones, the character, hates snakes. And for that very same reason, what happens in every movie? He gets confronted with snakes. So notice, you know, what you're thinking about, what you're occupying your thoughts with, and then notice what's coming your way. I know it sounds a little bit new agey, but like if you want to attract birds, you attract birds. If you want to attract snakes, you attract snakes. You're a bird, I'm a bird. Name that movie. Donna Rossna, chin forward, bend your legs, grab your feet from the outside, two inches below the toes, thumbs with your index fingers. If you can't grab both feet, just grab one foot, opposite arm in front, second set, you'll switch it out. Point your toes, squeeze your butt, look up towards the ceiling, and start to kick into your hands. Very nice. Continuously keep kicking without stopping, without intermission. It's the kick that drives the posture. Roll forward, freeze between your ribs and hips, hold still. Do little sips of air in and out through your nose. Squeeze inner thighs together. Bring your knees in, feet out, wrist straight, look up to the ceiling, kick, kick, kick. Good, change, slowly lower down. Look to your right, left ear on your mat, arms down, palms face the ceiling, toes together, heels fall open, breathing normal. Second set, last one in the stomach, might as well do it. Chin forward, bend your legs or the opposite leg, grab your feet from the outside, squeeze your tush, point your toes, look up to the ceiling and kick into your hands. So try to get your thighs off the floor. You wanna freeze between your lower ribs and your hips. Notice if you're dropping your head down or jamming it all the way back, try to keep your neck in line with the rest of your spine, wrist straight, knees a little closer together, big toes to the ceiling, kick, kick, kick. Good, change, slowly lower down. Look to your left, right here on your mat, and let that one go. Okay, bring your chin forward, put your hands on the floor, press yourself up. Come to the top of your mat for fixed firm, Supta Vajrasana. We will continue with the showing you at an angle theme. Open your knees, open your feet so the insides of your feet are parallel. Option to stay here in tabletop, or as you're ready, start to sink your hips down and walk your hands back. You can keep your hands in front of you, beside you, or behind you the whole time. The world is your oyster, mm, oysters. If and only if you can sit between your heels with your knees on the floor and you're not in pain. Put your hands on your feet, bend your right elbow down, left elbow down, drop your head back, head to the floor, tuck your chin in, neck, shoulders on the floor, arms over your head, grab your elbows, 
each other and hold wherever you are is just perfect. You want a gentle stretch to your toes, ankles, knees, thighs, and hips, but never a point of pain. Good. Change. Put your hands on your feet. Push yourself up. Head up last. Turn around. Savasana. Head to the front of your mat. Feet to the back of your mat. So the whole thing with Indiana Jones, right, is that he loves archaeology. He loves going to ancient ruins, sometimes in tropical locations, and he hates snakes, right, which is kind of ironic because, like, you know, ancient ruins, I don't know, are often overgrown and have snakes around them. Well, as some of you know, I love baseball, but one of my biggest fears in life is being hit with a foul ball, which is also kind of ironic because if you go to a baseball game, you might get hit with a foul ball. Legs together, arms over your head, tuck your chin to your chest, sit up. Good. So here's the thing. I attract foul balls. These are just in my living room alone. Three foul balls that I have caught at Major League Baseball games over the years. Because every time I go, I'm like, I do not want to get a foul ball thrown at me. I'm terrified of balls. And they always come to me, right? So again, same way that Indiana Jones attracts snakes and I attract baseballs, notice what you're attracting in your life. Open your knees, open your feet, second set, fix firm. Slowly walk your hands back, sink your hips down, put your palms on your soles, right elbow down, left elbow down, drop your head back, head to the floor, tuck your chin in, neck, shoulders on the floor arms over your head, grab your elbows, each other, and hold. If this is all crazy, gravy, maybe walk your knees back together, maybe lift your chest a little higher, but knees never come off the floor. Good, change. Put your hands on your feet, push yourself up, head up last, very nice. Turn around, Savasana. But here's the thing, right? Is Indiana Jones attracting snakes, or is he just going to ancient ruins? Am I attracting baseballs or am I just sitting in foul ball sections of the baseball park because that's what I can afford, right? Be careful, sometimes in life we're so desperate for signs that we start to make meaning out of things that aren't really there or that have a really logical reasoning behind them. Um, but also be careful of times in your life where you are so bent on rationality that you can't see the beauty and poetry in this world as well, right? I think it can be like a wolf situation. I am aware that I am have caught foul balls because of where I've chosen to sit, as well as the fact that like, I don't know, is there something to it? Mm, maybe. Legs together, arms over your head, tuck your chin to your chest, sit up. Good. So we want to find a middle path. Come to the back of your mat, half tortoise, Arctic Kermatsana, knees, feet together, hips on your heels, arms over your head, palms together, cross your thumbs, stretch up, and go down. You're welcome to place one or both hands on the floor to help yourself in or forehead to floor, little fingers to floor, reach your arms forward, sink your hips down, stretch, stretch, stretch. Feel a nice long back, neutral neck, everything stretching. Good, change, come on up, arms with the ears, very nice, arms down, turn around, Savasana. So there's some people that say there are no coincidences in life. Everything happens for a reason. There's other people who say everything, you know, is chance. I'm kind of somewhere in the middle. You might be as well, right? I think sometimes like bad things happen to good people. I don't think that necessarily means that those people did something wrong, right? And I believe like that there is um, a mystical nature to our existence. We are meaning makers. Human are, humans are meaning makers, whether the meaning that you're making is that everything is random or the meaning that you're making is that everything is on purpose. Both of those, it's the same spectrum, right? Opposite side, same spectrum. So just keep that in mind. If we are meaning makers by nature, what meaning are you choosing to make with your life? Legs together, arms over your head, tuck your chin to your chest, sit up. Good, come to the back of your mat, half tortoise, Ardha Kramatsana, knees, feet together, hips on your heels, arms over your head, Palms together, cross your thumbs, stretch up, and go down. Take your time. Try to touch forehead to floor before little fingers. Ooh, it's so hard. 
forehead to floor, little fingers to floor, slide your pinky fingers together. Hey, are your hands coming apart? Are your wrists bending, palms together, wrists straight, reach your arms forward, sink your hips down, re-energize, reorganize, revitalize, stretch. Good change, come on up, biceps with ears, feet together, very nice, arms down, turn around, savasana. Remember that if the sit-ups ever start to bother your back, you can skip the sit-up by rolling off to the side. The sit-ups, like everything else we do, are optional. Otherwise, legs together, arms over your head, flex your feet, squeeze your seat, sit up. All right, all right, all right, come to the top of your mat for camel, ustrasana. Camel pose on hump day. Yes, go to the top of your mat, stand on your knees, six inches between these feet. Put your hands on your lower back, thumbs outside, fingers to the floor. Push your hips forward, keep your eyes open, look up, lift your nose, lift your chin. One day hug goes back. Option to stay here or go back halfway, freeze in the middle. You can stay here with your hands on your back or when you're ready, right hand down, grab your right heel, left hand down, grab your left heel. Thumbs outside, fingers inside full palm grip on your heels, press your hips forward, lift your chest up, drop your head back, look for your toes behind you. Good, change, put your hands on your back, press yourself up, head up last, very nice, turn around, Savasana, head to the front of your mat, feet to the back of your mat. Notice, uh, notice your own experience in your body right now. There's no right or wrong. We're just like bearing witness to the nervous system, to our thoughts, our feelings, sensations, just noticing, not attaching, not passing judgment, not ignoring, just observing. Legs together, arms over your head, tuck your chin to your chest, sit up. Good. I think that is one of the most beautiful gifts that yoga and meditation gives us, the ability to even if just for a breath or two, be a passive observer in our own existence. Come to the top of your mat, second set. You can open your knees a little wider, eight to 10 inches between your knees. Still keep six inches between your feet. Put your hands on your lower back. Maybe try bringing your elbows closer together. So like, what does it feel like to be you right now? That's an interesting question, right? Start to look up towards the ceiling, lift your nose, lift your chin. One day, go back halfway. Eventually, you're in the future. Grab your heels, press your hips forward, lift your chest up, drop your head back. Be still, breathe. Good change. Put your hands on your back. Push yourself up, head up last. Very nice, turn around, Savasana. I sometimes quote this, but one of my favorite lines from the musical Rent, it comes in the scene where they're in a support group for people with AIDS in the early 90s, like the stakes are high, right? At this point, this is a terminal illness and it's in an AIDS support group. They turn to the one guy and he says, how do you feel today? And he's like, what? And he's like, how do you feel today? And the guy says, best I felt all year. And the guy responds, so why choose fear? And he says, I'm a New Yorker, fear's my life. But I love that, even in the midst of like some really serious stuff, sometimes when we just stop and pause and are like, what's it like to be me today? Maybe the answer is best I felt all year. Legs together, so why choose fear? Arms over your head, tuck your chin to your chest, sit up. Good, come to the middle of your mat for rabbit, sasangasana. We're gonna flip it and reverse it with our deepest forward curl, sit knees, feet together, hips on your heels, Make L's with your hands like little bunny ears. Find the cute cuddly animal. Grab your heels from the outside. Thumbs outside, fingers inside. Full palm grip on your heels. Stretch up. Tuck your chin to your chest and go down. Chin to chest, abdomen in, forehead to knees. Automatically top of head to floor. Pull on your heels. Don't lose the grip. Lift your hips up. If there's a gap between your knees and head, you can walk your knees up one by one, but head stays in place. If your grip is sliding or your feet are coming off the floor, ease up a little bit. Squeeze your heels together, press your hips forward, lift your shoulders up, round your spine. Good, chain tricks down, slowly uncurl. Head up last, very nice. Turn around, Savasana. Take a breath, reset. 
Go again. Legs together, arms over your head, tuck your chin to your chest, sit up. Okay, come to the middle of your mat, rabbit, rabbit, knees, feet together, hips on your heels, grab your heels from the outside, stretch up tall, tuck your chin to your chest and slowly go down. Can you articulate every part of your spine in the true sense of articulation? Feel each part of the back move, forehead to knees, automatically top of head to floor, pull on your heels, don't lose the grip, lift your hips up. Squeeze heels together, press your hips forward, lift your shoulders up, suck your stomach in, round your spine. Good, change hips down, slowly uncurl, very nice, head up last, turn around, savasana. Almost to the end, everybody's doing great. We're gonna do two quick sets of head to knee with stretching. It will go fast. Legs together, arms over your head, tuck your chin to your chest, sit up. Good. Right leg out, left leg in, two legs make an L, like legs, draw new shirasana, head to knee. Inhale, arms over head, stretch up. Exhale, turn to your right, tuck your chin to your chest and go down. Forehead to knee, interlock your chin fingers up to the webbing under the ball of your foot, flex your toes back, stretching calf and Achilles. Bend your elbows down, opening shoulder blades, scapula, change, arms up, left leg out, right leg all the way in, stretch up, turn to your left, tuck your chin to your chest and go down. Touch forehead and knee together, you can bend your leg, especially in the first set. Bend elbows down, notice if you're leaning way to the left, right sit bone down, right shoulder down, so both sides of your back stretch. Change, arms up, both legs out in front of you, if you're skipping sit up, stay here, otherwise lay down, let your spine realign, and sit up. Ashimottanasana, stretching, bend your knees, hook onto your big toes with middle and index fingers, thumbs on top, scoot your butt back, right, left. Knees can stay bent if it helps you keep a flat back, eventually legs straight, eventually lock your legs and fold forward with a straight spine flat back. Roll the shoulders back and down, stretch the forehead forward, lengthen your spine. Good, change, come on up, turn around, Savasana. Taking a slow breath here. Even at the end of class, staying present in the body, present in your unique experience as a human in real space and real time. Legs together, arms over your head, tuck your chin to your chest, sit up. Good, second set, right leg out, left leg in. Make sure you're not sitting on your left foot. Sole of left foot pushes into inner right thigh bicep. Inhale, arms over head, stretch up. Exhale, turn to your right, tuck your chin to your chest, go down. So eventually forehead and knee can touch with the straight leg or even a locked leg, flex your toes back, bend elbows down, eventually elbows to floor, left elbow down, left shoulder down, rolling to the left. Good, change, arms up, left leg out, right leg in, stretch up. Turn to your left, tuck your chin to your chest and go down. So imagine you have a mosquito underneath your knee and you're trying to smush the mosquito, push your forehead into your knee, get your heel off the floor, bend elbows down, elbows to floor, right elbow down, right shoulder down, roll into the right, change, arms up, both legs out in front of you, option to stay here or lay down and sit up. Stretching, bend your knees, hook onto your big toes, peace sign fingers, thumbs on top, scoot your butt back, right left, right left, stick it out. If your legs are straight, lock your, leg, lock your legs, inhale, stretch up. Exhale, fold. Notice if elbows are going out to the side, drop elbows down, roll shoulders back, spiral inner thighs down, flex pinky toes back, pull, stretch, lengthen, change. Come on up, turn around, Savasana, letting the back reset. Last posture of the day, we always just do one set of. It's a nice spine twist to reset your back after all of your hard work. Should feel really nice. Legs together, arms over your head, tuck your chin to your chest, sit up. <laughs> Wonderful. Middle of your mat, Ardha Matsandrasana, half lord of the fish pose. Bend your left leg on the floor, touch right heel to left knee corner, right arm behind you, left arm up, and over. Grab left knee with left hand, hand, heel, and knee, all touch in one magical spot. Inhale, stretch up. Exhale, look over your right shoulder twist. You can keep your right hand behind you for balance. You can also reach around and catch your left thigh with your right hand for the half bind. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, pull your abdomen in, look over your right shoulder, twist and twist and twist. Good, change, unwind, swap out your legs, bend your right leg on the floor, touch left heel to right knee corner. Left arm close behind you, right arm up and over, try to catch right knee with right hand. Inhale, lengthen. 
Exhale, look over left shoulder twist. You can keep your hand behind you for balance or reach around, try to catch your right thigh with your left hand for the half bind. Keep spine straight, chest up, rib cage open. Inhale, stretch up. Exhale, look back, twist, twist, twist. Good, change, unwind, turn around, savasana. We begin the 26 and two sequence with a breathing exercise and we end full circle with a breathing exercise. Always starting and finishing focused on the lungs and lung health. Legs together, arms over your head, tuck your chin to your chest, sit up. Good. Sit well, sit knees, feet together, hips on your heels, hands on your thighs. If it hurts to sit on your feet, sit crisscross applesauce. If you haven't tried sitting on your feet in a while, try it every once in a while. Lick your lips, swallow a couple times, concentrate, meditate. Don't forget to have fun. Here we go. One. So you exhale through your mouth, pull the abdomen in, and the stomach relaxes, lungs automatically take in air. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Good for you. Honor yourself. Give yourself a high five. Pat on the back. Turn around. Final. Savasana, close your eyes, open your arms and legs, take up space, especially if you are the kind of person that does not like to take up space. Here's a safe opportunity to practice. Take up space, open your arms, open your legs, close your eyes, and take a deep, life-giving breath. Inhale, feel your chest rise. Exhale, feel your shoulders fall. Be very careful what you tell yourself. Your thoughts are your prayers and the universe only knows how to say yes. Bye friends. <laughs> One day I'll learn how to juggle.